Good morning I would like to welcome you all today to Exponential Business Growth LinkedIn X Factor Webinar. We show our customers how to create 30,000 first connection business links and 2 million group followers industry specific quickly. Say goodbye to ad media marketing. How to use the LinkedIn platform to build true friends as clients and real business partners. We show you how to grow your LinkedIn by the X factor of 10. Real LinkedIn on steroids. We offer proven ways to create real interested sales opportunities. We show you how to build a seven-figure revenue streams fast. Build groups of clients, 2,000 to 200,000. Build video ads that show your real business. Stop fighting to find new clients dead-ended sales calls. We create a steady flow of new clients for your business. Easy CRM development that links to your LinkedIn and CRM. How to do webinar sales and development. How to create lead captures. Roger has actual business success, more than 35 plus years. William J. Fritz's father started his business in 1953. Trained him to treat your clients and customers with excellence. The Certified Instructor Roger Fritz. Note we only accept limited new clients per year. Here we go under the hood with Roger. How did you go from uh, uh, electric motors to being a LinkedIn expert? That's been really interesting. We, we, we still are in electric motors very heavily. Um, yeah. That's why I started out. My father was in that and since 1953. Yeah. And yeah. Um, my two sons run two of the other companies that we have one's in Omaha and one's in Boston. And so I kind of switched to the, the marketing section of growing um, our companies and LinkedIn has just absolutely taken off on me. I, I've, I've never seen anything like it. Um, yeah. And it's really, um, so what I, what I'm doing today is basically just sharing with people um, what I've learned because I think businesses um, should be doing this and they really should understand, you know, how it, how it does. I've had guys that have, have done this over four years and have had, uh, you know, 370% growth, um, because we don't get to enough of our audience and there's over a million people now already in LinkedIn or a billion people now in LinkedIn that are mostly our business people. Um, but there's a lot of tricks of the trade that I've learned that I wanted to pass on so that, you know, other people benefit from it and not just, uh, you know, I see the, the large companies, um, you know, really, you know, jumping into this and you can see from their, um, you know, their company profiles, you know, the number of followers they have, the number of company pages they have. And I also want to make sure that some people, um, understand you've got to shut <laughs> shut some of your things off on your LinkedIn so you're not giving your leads away. Uh, okay. Um, well, I mean, you, uh, I assume you've looked at my profile and I got, what, uh, about 30,000 uh, oh, followers. Awesome. And um, obviously, I, I, I don't use it like a, the tool that it can be used. Um you know, to drill down. And I, I, I did a concerted effort over the last, what, uh, seven years sure. of, of building, um, uh, you know, the follower base, if you will. Right. Uh, into the markets that uh, I'm pursuing with my uh, early stage startup venture. Okay. And um, with that said, um, you know, heavy industries markets, basically. Um, my domain is energy, uh, oil and gas. And, um, um, you know, so I've got a high concentration of that and my connections are global, uh, because yeah. my pro my products go global. And, um, you know, frankly, we've gotten to the point where, uh, we finally got our, uh, commercial stage products uh, developed. Uh, we're getting our first customer acquisitions and, um, yeah, I, I just recently, um, got a major uh, hit a major milestone with the American Petroleum Institute in which they have um, um, approved approved and adopted our our technology for uh, globally for um, use to facilitate repairs and retrofits on fixed um, assets 
um, you know, in the midstream and down, well, uh, all three sectors, midstream, downstream, and upstream. Sure. So uh, that was published uh, in, in the standard um, on November 8th. So what I want to do is, um, you know, with with the amount of followers I have is, um, you know, start mining it, if you will, uh, for for business. Uh, um, you know, it's uh, it's been very helpful for me as well, as far as testing the market. And, and um, you know, as I was developing my products and gaining some art, have you, um, and I recently uh, signed some major, um, well, I, they're major to us, um, what I call strategic alliance, uh, strategic services alliance agreements, uh, where we're working with um, mechanical contractors that provide, you know, that that have contracts with major oil companies right. uh, to to perform mechanical service work in their facilities. So they will actually be, uh, we'll be training and certifying them to use our tools under um, basically a lease uh, arrangement. Okay. So now I want to, you know, take advantage of, of the LinkedIn uh, platform and, um, you know, uh, basically launch the, uh, it's, it's, I don't use Facebook or any other platform. Um, yeah, I, mean, I use a little bit of Twitter. Um, Facebook is too personal. There's, yeah. uh, yeah, and business, it also gets business. garbage, a lot of garbage on it. Right, um, right. LinkedIn seems to be, you know, staying much cleaner and better. So I, I agree with you. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I get a lot of garbage on LinkedIn too. Oh yeah, you and, do. Um, you do, yeah. but you can filter it out, um, you know, by, by controlling your contacts and who, okay. who follows you. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump and get started, but I'm, you know, I'm glad to, you know, chat more at the end. Right. I get, uh, cool. kind of going here a little bit what my point is. Um, yeah. So good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, there's a bunch of people that asked me if I could send them a copy of the video. So I'll be doing that later. Um, I also have a copy of the, uh, uh PowerPoints, which give, uh, a lot of great links, um, that can help people. Um, but I wanted to get started. I've been in the um, electrical industry for my whole career. I'm now 65. Um, we have companies uh, scattered across the United States. There's a lot of them in Nebraska where my father started um, that my nephew is running. Plus, I have a son that has a <clears throat> control company there. And then I also have a son in Boston that also has a control company. Um, so... Um, what this is about is uh, there's a, a company also at the end, I'm gonna give you a, a link opportunity to go to um, who's out of uh, Florida um, that has used a lot of these techniques plus um, business management pieces that he's got a really nice um, free test that kind of, it brings you home to understand, you know, business and what, what a lot of people don't look at because we all have our, you know, talents and we tend to have grown our business from that talent. Um, one of my mentors in life who taught me um, a lot of how to operate, do business and work together um, is a guy named Zig Ziglar, which a lot of people may know or may not know, um, but a lot of people do. He was one of the um, premier you know, motivational people, but I, I wanna just play his video just real quick and you can listen to it. Now, money is not the most important thing in life, but it is reasonably close to oxygen. The more of the things you have that money won't buy, those are the things that will enable you to get more of the things that money will buy. But to tell you the truth, I love the things money won't buy. Money bought me a nice house, won't buy me a home. Money will buy you a companion, won't buy you a friend. Money will buy you a good time, won't buy you peace of mind. Money will buy you a bed, won't buy you a good night's sleep. Zig Ziglar is an internationally known motivational speaker, training and inspiring millions to reach the next level in their careers. 
how do you lose 37 pounds and write a book? I'm just going to kind of give you that as an example. For 24 years of my adult life, by choice, I weighed well over 200 pounds. I say by choice because, you see, I have never accidentally eaten anything. <laughs> You're what you are and where you are because of what's going into your mind. You can change what you are. You can change where you are by changing what goes into your mind. Have you ever noticed that people who are the problem never recognize that they are? They're in complete denial. They think denial is just a river in Egypt. You're not going to change anybody else that you change you. Everything really does begin with you. If you are irreplaceable in the job you have, you're unpromotable where you are. Here's the philosophy I've built my life on, my career on. You can have everything in life you want if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. That's true in your personal life. It's true in your family life. It's true in your corporate life. So he, he did, uh, you know, pass on in 2000, 2012, but uh, he was a huge inf influence in my life. Um, another big influence in my life has been Rotary. Um, I've been very fortunate to be involved in that uh, for a number of years. And it all talks about, you know, gratitude, but also service above self. And so um, my career, I've very, been very fortunate. Um, I've been given a lot of opportunity in my life. And I want to pass on uh, some things to help other people because, you know, life's too short not to. Um, so what, what this has is actually a table of contents. Um, it also has multiple um, uh, little click downs um, that you're also able to get to. But um, the, the most important thing is that I found is, you know, establishing, you know, brand in the community. Um, identifying your target markets, um, preparing your know, LinkedIn campaigns properly, and creating effective LinkedIn ads. And then you got to test, you got to test, test, test. Um, I found for many years um, that a lot of people don't really test the market. And, you know, John was talking about that earlier. You know, you you can use LinkedIn to test a lot of things and, and look at the feedback, the way it looked, the way people look at things, um, you know, by doing various postings. Um, so a lot of people that do know LinkedIn or do not know LinkedIn, but it now it has over a billion professionals, um, worldwide in it. And I do, uh, do a lot of work worldwide. Um, we have connections, um, I've done work in LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn for a company out of, uh, England. <clears throat> I do a lot of work in combination with, um, Fuji Electric, which is an international company, um, <clears throat> And I do a lot of work with um, uh, various manufacturers and other companies um, to help them get, you know, get the penetration to the market because there's a lot of simple little tools that, you know, LinkedIn is a great company, don't get me wrong, but they're trying to drive the platform to a pay per click type thing, which is similar to what Google did, um, which you do not have to do. Um, you can do it, um, you know, internally yourself. And by the type of ads, the way you place the ads, the way you write the ads um, to basically get around a lot of the algorithms that are, you know, controlling that market. So again, you, you have a brand of a product of a solution that you have. And then of that brand, you know, you want to continually use that, you know, over and over again, but then you want to drive um, your marketing. Um, so it's very powerful you know, and sets up a, you know, a good page. Um, so, you know, your company logo, I see a lot of people that have LinkedIn pages and, you know, they don't even have a, mm -hmm. you know, a point behind them. They really don't, they're, they're kind of like, okay, well, I've got up there. Um, you know, some people have a few connections, some have a lot of connections, um, but there's a lot of opportunity out there, um, you know, to grow and to create a proper image. And so you want to use, um, you know, the the proper sizing, um, you know, of all your, you know, uh, pictures and those things in the marketplace. Um, and then identify your target audience. 
Um, there's a lot of search tools in there where you can search um, LinkedIn. Uh, you can search for, you know, new client opportunities, people that are, um, you know, looking for your service. You can search by site title, um, you know, location, um, you know, their seniority, their interest. Um, and you don't have to even use their sales navigator to do that. You could do it just under your search part um, and other tools that are, you know, out there. But I find some of the remote tools are sometimes a little bit easier to use than some of the, you know, ones that are provided internally. Um, you know, you want to create a, a calendar um, of your products of what, what you're going to, you know, drive out to the market. And I've got a couple of, uh, you know, you can use a Google tool or Google, you know, spot. And then you, you need to continue because uh, as sales has taught me over the number of years, you know, most of the time it takes nine times um, of an introduction of people to see you, understand you, um, see you out there, you know, in order to get, um, you know, them to ever buy, you know, people don't really buy on impulse. Um, unless they're really looking for something, but then they're going after, you know, a brand. And so you need to build brand awareness. And that's what a lot of um, the larger companies that are doing into the marketplace are doing today. Um, but they're able to do it, um, you know, by, you know, you know, posting, posting, posting ads, um, you know, belonging to groups. Um, I myself um, belong to networks of groups. I have, um, three groups myself um, that I, I manage um, group or a good way to grow your company um, because there's unlimited access um, to invites in those. Um, and then you get the connections from them um, and you can then sort those connections um, to grow. Um, so you want to develop a, um, uh, you know, a, an organic following, um, you know, then people, you know, get used to your brand, um, you know, and going, going forward. So the other area that I found a lot is you, you want to collaborate, you know, with your other team members in your company. So you probably have uh, multiple, you know, team men members in your company and you need to get them all aligned under your company pages. Um, and then if you, you know, ask them also to, you know, do some likes, the algorithms in LinkedIn are is the, the number of likes that you get, um, you know, drive you up from independent people, um, you know, drive your ads further into the marketplace. Um, another item is keywords. Um, you need to utilize the proper keywords in your in your ad pages um, to drive the market, you know, deeper and fuller fuller in. So, um, you know, you enhance your brand, um, and then you want to, um, you know, post and update regularly, not only in your personal pages, but you also need to. Um, put it in your company pages. So I, I, I manage myself about 40 different company pages. Um, some of them are mine, some of my, you know, clients that I work with um, and I drive them, you know, into the market. But due to the fact that I have a 2 million, you know, group following piece um, on a regular basis, um, you know, I average uh, anywhere from 10,000 to 20,000 hits a, a week. Um, and if your media is proper and you're getting your point across to your customers um, by having your brand and your your employees and things or the employees of that company also, you know, involved in it, you dr you drive the business um, to your to your site. And so, you know, sharing rich media, you know, engaging your network, engaging your you know, employee groups, um, and then ultimately what happens is you end up becoming um, you know, more of a business influencer. Um, and, you know, especially in your industry, um, if you take the, um, uh, you know, position, um, and you build your, you know, engagements and things properly, you can actually, 
you know, created quite an interest. So, you know, I represent companies that are, you know, manufacture large, you know, manufactured motors. I represent companies that, you know, build um, uh, electrical e-house systems. I, I represent companies that, um, you know, like a, a Fuji Electric, where we, you know, sell control panels. And, you know, I, I bring to market, um, you know, those items that are very strong, very good, um, but also it's key that you have to have the supply chain um, in order to make it successful. Um, meaning that you've thought through that, you know, when you do, do get an order, you know, you can get it to roll through. Um, so, you know, you prepare your campaigns, um, you set them out on a time frame of either a Google, um, you know, uh, reminder so that because when you have, you know, many things going on, especially, you know, company owners, as we are today, you know, we're so busy, um, you know, operating all, you know, hands on. And so that's why it's been a benefit to me. You know, I've transitioned away from the day to day operations, you know, of the, you know, companies that I've been involved in. Uh, they went on to my sons, um, nephews, and those things. But, you know, I do help them, you know, drive um, business traffic, um, you know, onto their companies. So again, you know, you determine your, your campaign objectives, you know, brand awareness, you got to be aware of, um, and then how you're going to create your lead generation. And there's multiple ways of, you know, lead generation, especially on, um, if you look at uh, doing, you know, like webinars or, so I do, a, I do a webinars normally about twice a month um, on various industries. And then I promote them out to, you know, my networks um, and everything from uh, like a submersible pump company that I represent out of Italy. Um, you know, we're driving, um, you know, submersible motor order project products, you know, for them, you know, gaining big distribution um, team people, but, you know, all that has been structured, um, you know, to drive it through to growth. Uh, there's also ways that you can go find, uh, you know, buzzwords or keywords, I call them, um, so that uh, you'll be amazed that, like, under automation, um, just using pound automation on your um, posting will get you another 20,000 viewers out there or if you just put yours up, it'll only go, you know, more normally to your main network. And um, I've maxed out. They won't allow me to have any more first connections. Um, I have a lot of followers, especially in the company spot. I've got followers up to, you know, a couple million, sometimes 3 million people, depending on the industry type. Um, you want to, in, in a void of, of hyper uh, linking and how you do that hyper linking, you know, in there. Um, uh, I do some work actually with CBRE. There's a, a testimonial from them that they've, you know, increased their click rates um, by, um, you know, properly doing those achievements, um, you know, in, in there of, of how you do that, you know, where it leads to. Basically what the main part of the algorithm in LinkedIn is, is that they want to keep you inside the um, the LinkedIn platform, so they don't want to drive you out, you know, to a different platform. So they've written the algorithms that way. But there's ways around that by driving them to the company pages and then also the product pages of your company. Um, so um, what I'll what I'll do here in a minute is I'm actually going to you know go under the hood of a couple things that I want to show you that might be helpful to you. Um, you know, to gain, uh, you know, how you connect it to your CRM um, and then also the follow-up and then how to connect it so it automatically looks at, you have that, um, uh, you know, email address, phone number, connections, and then you can pass those off to the, you know, given market segments um, to really drive it to growth. So again, it's on, you know, a lot of LinkedIn was structured, which now they want to, you know, get you into, um, you know, sales navigator, which you can do more searches, but, you know, then that's a cost per month. I did additional, 
Um, plus they are trying to get you to run their ads through them. Um, but you can run it in the algorithm, a lot of it yourself, you know, not have to pay that, you know, cost per click rate, which is what's done and which is kind of what's destroyed Google AdWords. A lot of people have, have used those over the years and they've, uh, they've grown to very expensive, you know, for certain keywords and it really doesn't, you know, become cost effective almost anymore. So these are a couple little, um, I do a lot of video uh, pieces internally. Um, so it's important when you do your postings that you actually do the pages, um, not to just a specific um, piece. You, you, want, you want the video to tell a very quick story and have it revolving, um, which you see a lot more of. And so this is an example of the, um, uh, you know, one that I did for, you know, the one of the control industries that we do and we ship, you know, drives, PLCs and controls all over the world. Um, and it gives you that access. And then internally in LinkedIn, that continues to play and run. And then this happens to be a group that I work with out of Oklahoma um, that also builds, you know, e-house. So if you, if you give just a static message, um, what ends up happening is, is that people, you know, over time, they, it, it takes them a period of time to, uh, to view something, but most people on LinkedIn, they're so quick to almost like a gnat in just a few minutes, they're, you know, onto something else. So you've got to grab their attention. Um, so actually, of all things I do also is I've got um, uh, connections um, into the wine industry. I live in California. And so um, we work with the uh, Wall Street Journal uh, wine company um, that's based out of New York. But um, so we put these little ads together again to to drive, you know, business. Every day, millions of Americans rely on the Wall Street Journal for informed market insights and news coverage. Since launching in 2008, Wall Street Journal Wine has changed the way people buy wine by specializing in outstanding small estates and convenient home delivery. Each year, our expert team tastes over 40,000 wines and selects less than 2% the best of the best to share with Wall Street Journal Wine customers. So again, what I found there is by that being a revolving thing, it also um, does, on, when, you, when you post that into LinkedIn, it actually also allows you to do, um, uh, so if people don't have their, their voice or the, um, the sound on their computer, you can also have it do um, uh, wording at the bottom where it'll, you know, say the same thing. Um, this is a one we're doing in conjunction with um, Fuji Electric um, to grow um, business also. Um, Irrigation started around 6,000 BC. Today, it's used just about everywhere to bring vital water where it's needed most. This comes with a variety of challenges. Depending on the system, slopes, and valve, changes can hamper the ability to irrigate an area evenly and properly. One of the critical components of most irrigation implementations, and at the center of this challenge, is the pump system, specifically the drive that controls it. We provide variable frequency drives, or VFDs, that reduce electrical energy consumption by reducing... So I won't let that, you know, bore you with that, but um, the, the point is, is action, um, materials that are moving, 
um, draw you know a, a better response rate than the other. And over time, we found you know the timing of those and the implementation of it is very important. Motor speed. So again, then you want to have make sure that those ads are effective and how they're placed and the sizing, and also look always at how it looks on your um, computer itself um, and also on the iPhone because a lot of people are looking, you know, in LinkedIn today, you know, constantly at their iPhones. Um, the you can also. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about sponsoring and, you know, at the end, but you, you can do um, what they call affiliated marketing, where if you have products that are actually, um, you know, on your store sites and those things, you can set it up and create, um, you know, virtual um, reps and people that want to chase that product, um, you know, similar to the larger companies. And again, back to placing of the, you know, the content, you know, on the ads. Um, you can also put affiliated ads on yours if you want. I don't really always recommend that, but uh, sometimes if it's an affiliated ad, you put it on your ad. What it, what the benefit to that is, it may draw the attention into the into it that may not draw the attention um, of your product because they may not know you. So you can use other branding, and um, you know, I've done everything from. You know, for the wine industry, we brought steaks in, we brought, you know, food, um, and no stop other types into the market. Um, you got, you know, text ad tools, you know, messaging ad tools, you know, that are out there. And we have all these links here that you can support them in, and it shows you the differentials in, you know, in click rates. Um, and then you've got your dynamic ads. Um, uh, you know, that are also very helpful. Um, you know, these are the, these are the specifications for like a single image spec, um, your council specs, your video specs, um, you know, what the time frame limits are, um, you know, and then the layout, you know, horizontal, you know, what those, um, you know, did you be the, the messaging specs and then the, um, you know, text ad specs also. Um, so, you you know, you have your follow, follower ads and you have your spotlight ads, um, you know, job ads, which you can post, um, and then content, you know, ads, which uh, a lot of times you also want to have like a newsletter um, that will also draw it or, um, you know, give a events. Um, also draw, you know, a lot of people in that are interested in it. Um, you know, similar to this one, I've had, you know, uh, now about 65, 70 people that have all, you know, shown an interest. Um, you know, today they all didn't have time to come on, but, you know, they've asked for a copy of the video. Um, they'll send me a link, a message, you know, and those things. And the same way, you know, I've done it for, um, you know, power quality, um, for example, you know, big in interest in that area. You know, I've had as many as three, 400 people, you know, sign up for it. Well, the benefit is then you have those connections that are dedicated interest, you know, to that particular industry. Um, you got your Adobe, um, you know, that you can drive your, um, you know, a lot of your graphics and your PDFs um, and then how it drives it, you know, first from your personal page, um, you need to go to your company pages. Then you can also build out your um, individual, some of your individual product pages. Um, and then you can come and add those products back, you know, constantly promote those into the marketplace. And then you get to invite um, on your company pages, you can invite, you know, 250 people a day or a year or month, I'm sorry, 250 people of your major LinkedIn um, and then you can also invite on your individual product pages. Normally it's about a hundred per month, but once you get them narrowed down to your specific interest people, you know who they are, you can qualify them and you can, um, you know, bring them out of LinkedIn into your um, CRM. And then you have those people to drive back. These are the people that I want to invite, 
you know, to that specific product offering because they've shown an interest in the past. Um, you know, the reason why I know it is, is, you know, is a, is a trend of the marketplace is that, you know, big names like GE, um, ABB, um, Siemens, you know, they have followings of, you know, sometimes close to um, a million people, you know, into their, you know, company pages. And they've developed that by having the culture of their companies, you know, structured um, to drive their, you know, connection people, you know, to that, to that also. And it greatly enhances the, you know, the growth of your company. So you have to think of all the strategies. And a lot of people don't use the strategies. They tend to, um, you know, put their LinkedIn up and say, well, I, I'm on LinkedIn. Well, it's a difference of being on LinkedIn. And then there's probably about, I'd say maybe three to 5% of people that, that really look, you know, take it to the limit. Um, you can also, you know, there's a lot of conversion tracking, you know, that you can see inside. Plus that's based on, you know, the URLs. Plus it's based on how you set up your web pages. Um, and then you can look like that back into your web pages of, okay, did I actually drive that down? Did it actually come forward, you know, and imp implementing it properly into the LinkedIn? Uh, let's see. Got your, you know, you'd have to watch out for the best practices. There are limits, um, you know, <clears throat> that you, you know, can utilize per day um, on number of invites. And I, I really feel you need to stay, you know, away from, you know, they always promote, you know, cost per click, but I, I don't think that really works. At one time in Google, um, uh, you can do Google AdWords. I'd met a fellow that actually sold paintball guns. <laughs> he had three different ones. He controlled the pay-per-click market, but that's been, you know, 10, 12 years ago when it wasn't expen as expensive as it was. But, you know, he would drive between his three different companies, um, you know, uh, you know, and kind of ended up controlling the indus industry in that. It was very helpful. So, you know, if you do want to reach me, um, this is my, you know, phone number, contact information, um, and then it's my LinkedIn down there, um, and I will be sending out, you know, connections to that and how to reach it. Um, if you want to book, you know, a 15-minute, you know, uh, meeting, um, I'm more than happy to spend, you know, 15 minutes to have a, you know, one-on-one -on -one discussion with you. Um, I also do it, you know, by the hour. Um, and so I do charge $120 an hour, but I try to utilize that money also to give back to LinkedIn. I mean, back to Rotary. Um, so I, half of those funds go back to them. And then if you want to book it in blocks of 12 hours, um, because it does take time to do this properly and to get it back. And I just want to, you know, show my, um, <clears throat> you know, thanks to, you know, Rotary for all they've helped me over the years. So the other area um, is affiliated marketing. Um, so I'm also involved with uh, uh, these publishing groups um, that will tie together um, all of the information, you know, and bring it back. But there's a lot of tracking um, uh, to influencing on marketing. Finally, an affiliate network platform experience designed with partners in mind. Our new publisher dashboard gives you the tools you need to monetize and manage performance partnerships at scale, all on a platform streamlined to save you time and help you grow. We've leveled the learning curve with our dashboard design, putting ease of use front and center, so you can partner, promote, and optimize quickly from any device you choose. Everything important is at your fingertips and easy to find. Aggregated health metrics, a narrative trend of performance over time. Top performing and recommended brands all keep you on top of what matters without running a single report. We've enhanced our search and discovery tools with automation and machine learning. Partner and product recommendations surface new opportunities. New search features help you find best fit brands and relevant products with ease. 
all platform areas are intuitive and mobile friendly, empowering you to monetize, monitor, and optimize efficiently from anywhere. Monetize at scale. Access information effortlessly. Discover new brands and products. Mobile friendly. So um, I think it's very important um, that you understand that there's a lot of uh, large um, tools out there that um, are, you know, can basically learn action, learn, you know, functions um, that give you the details of what's going on. Um, I also will send you access um, to the uh, business growth uh, assessment tool. Um, this fellow is out of Florida. Um, he's been very helpful, um, you know, in growing companies, um, but he really has brought it forward. Um, you know, it gives you a free assessment tool that you can, you know, access into very easily. Uh, another thing I want you to do is if you'd like, um, you know, please join us, um, you know, at uh, uh, the Nikola Tesla group, um, which is basically, I structured that um, because I don't think everybody in the world has to be competitive. We're not competitors. Um, there's so much business out there. There's so much um, opportunity in the in the world and this is a group of in the electrical industry because Nikola Tesla did it but a group in electrical industry um, that I work together I partner with together and um, you know we share concepts and ideas um, to do it so um, let me go back here so you know if you do want to reach me you can reach out to me or you have my LinkedIn um, that you've had. Um, I will um, just for a, you know, a, a minute, you know, show you one other tool that I think, you know, might be helpful to you. So I'm going to, you know, change the screen share here a minute. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you can see the, uh, my, my actual LinkedIn here. Um, but I wanted to show you the, um, the, the, there's a connection tool that actually allows you um, to tie into and actually um, tie it directly to your CRM. So what I help a lot of people do is um, get like your um, connections um, that you have in your network. Um, It actually, you'll see here by adding this tool in, it actually shows you how you can connect um, to the marketplace um, directly to your CRM. So you can look at, you know, his connection, and then this shows you, but it obviously goes right to my my CRM. So the benefit is out without having to, you know, individually transfer this. Um, you know, I can set it up. So if this customer like here hasn't done it yet, I can bring him up, um, I can look at who he is, and then I can actually tie him either as a contact, you know, or a lead, you know, directly into my CRM. Um, so I can add him, um, you know, create a contact, and then it brings his information over to my CRM. And then if I want, I can go in and actually look then at my CRM um, slow this morning. Uh, it brings him over here, and then it actually shows me, um, you know, all of his information. You know, that was brought over from from LinkedIn, which has been a, you know, a big asset and a big help to me. Um, then on my CRM part here, I can also end up um, then look at, you know, who after I've sent out, you know, emails. Um, you know, who's opened them, uh, when they've opened them, um, and look at, you know, like here I've had, you know, in this time frame over 30 days, there's been 20,000 people that have done the opens. But then this information on those opens that are tagged for certain product offerings, then I can take those and pass them on to our sales team. So, let's stop the screen here. So I will open it up for questions. If you know, if anybody wants to unmute themselves, if they have any other further questions, if no questions for me, but great presentation, Roger. Thank you. 
Oh, thanks, Dave. Nice to meet you. Um, hey, this is Alice. Um, I wanted to say great presentation. And for everybody who's listening, I just wanted to mention that I, um, I met Roger a few years ago at a networking event. And we started talking about our business. And I'm in the printing business, so nothing to do with electrical um, and selling uh, components and things like that. But he goes, so what are you doing on LinkedIn? And he got me take, to take a look at that. And, and I just want to say that since that time, I've been able to build my network, get involved with groups, and it's brought in millions of dollars of opportunities that I've been able to convert to business. So he just really knows what he's doing, and it was a great help to me. That, I just wanted to mention that. Thanks. Well, thanks, Alice. I appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for your time today. Um, like I said, I have multiple people that have sent me emails this morning that wants me to you know, send a copy. Um, but we're more than here, more than happy to help you any way we can. So have a wonderful day and I'm going to end it for now, but you're always able to reach me. Have a good day.